What's up guys and gals, Star Wars fans. Here's a look at the Star Wars, the Vintage Collection, the Mandalorian Incinerator Trooper. So let's give you guys a quick 360. Now, I have always been a fan since the um, Force Unleashed version of the Incinerator Trooper, which uh, that version of the figure didn't actually come with any flamethrower weaponry just had the the standard stormtrooper blaster um that figure was also on the older style articulation so if not even just for the mandalorian um the 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 incinerator trooper really needed an updated figure so thanks to the mandalorian we did get uh an updated incinerator trooper figure now this figure is in the four inch scale stands about exactly four inches tall this isn't the the six inch black series version in case anyone was confused about that uh so it is uh, a smaller version uh, i don't have the the black series version um i do want it just don't have it yet um so we do have the new articulation on this guy which is pretty well articulated for the scale minor issues here though um flamethrower there's no actual grip um or or foregrip to speak of i just i just have the, the hand kind of pressing against the underside of it like so uh the the trigger hand holds the uh the grip pretty well though um we do get the the fuel tank back there which is pretty cool pauldron paint apps are okay they're not the cleanest on on the dark red markings uh there are some minor issues uh, at least on my copy with paint but it's no big deal i don't need uh those paint apps to be perfect they're and they're not horrible they're just you know they're they're good enough um now that's really <laughs> that's really all there is to go about uh to go on about this figure except for one other thing which is a bit of an issue so when you get the uh the flame piece the flame effect piece which is really cool that we actually do get a flame effect piece now it does look really good but without a stand that's what's going to happen so you're going to need a stand to, to have this guy um, standing with the f <laughs> the flame piece on. And I don't know, I haven't messed with him enough to see if there's like any way you can, you can get him posed um, and, and still, still kind of, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, you'd have to mess with it some more, but I, I, I feel like. There really isn't like a, a natural looking pose, even an action pose that you can get this figure in that'll that'll have them balance and stand uh, with the, the flame effect piece on. It is, it's pretty heavy. It's not a really light piece of plastic. So, you know, he's going to be falling over. But again, look at that. Does look really cool, right? Looks really cool. So, yeah. There you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks so much for watching. Oh wait, check it out. Got it to stand. Got it to stand with the, the flame piece on there. <laughs>